Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose that it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you haven't got your winter solstice seat yet, you can do so on the link in the description box below. And if you haven't got yours yet, the 2020 quarter calendar is up and out there for your purchase. You can get a daily tarot card pool and a write up for it. You can get the full moon and new moon astrology for the first three months of the year. And also on top of that, you can get a write up about that big coming conjunction and what it might mean for you. So with that said, I would like to bless ooh, okay, all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So when I went into my intuition for you, my dear Librans, what I saw was a dragonfly. Uh, and this is beautiful, right? Because yes, it represents in, and it's apparently across the board, uh, in all cultures, it represents change, transformation, uh, ascendance in some way, shape or form, or ascension, I guess you could say. Um, interestingly enough, though, the words that when I was doing my research about this word, the word that came up for me more than anything else that I really felt like speaks to you and your current energy and everything that you're going through was self actualization right uh, and what a beautiful uh, what a beautiful message for you this week there's something about you that is going to become self-realized right so <laughs> where the internal ai switches on and you discover that actually i'm alive hmm. <laughs> you know all jokes aside what a, a beautiful message for you right so if if you know the dragonfly if it's an emblem of yours already this is about getting to know yourself this week it's about rediscovering the fact that you are alive and what that actually means to you all right so your destiny card for the week ahead is the hermit card you've got to go within to find this right if you want to find that self-actualization if you want to reach that inner potential of yours then you have to go inward you've got to find it this is the week where it is there it's waiting for you you've got to go inward to pull your power so that it can be used all right Beautiful, lovely, very simple, very clear message for you guys this week. Uh, so your direction card, let's give it some context. And it is the Nine of Swords. Get out of your head. Stop uh, Stop convincing yourself that you are less than you are. This is a week, I mean, the Nine of Swords can sometimes see you making a mountain out of a molehill. What is really interesting to me here is the Hermit card is number nine and you also have the Nine of Swords. This is a week for you to evolve. The nine, the number nine is about elevation, it's enlightenment. It's where you, it's the final step in the human numbers before you go on to become a master number vibration right which is really really powerful as an energy because this and you know the message with the dragonfly change uh, evolution you know self actualization this is a really powerful week for you but you must go within you're not going to find it outside of yourself and if you find this week that you're stressing or struggling to make something work or to make something happen it's because you're you're focusing too much on the external you need to go within it, you're going to find whatever it is that you need with in you rather than outside of you this week all right your uh insight card for the week ahead is the ten of cups look at that right so with all of this nines and then you get the 10 as the insight card, as the energy that's coming in, as the energy that's waiting for you. Now, the 10 of cups represents home, the happy home, material success, emotional contentment and fulfillment, total wish fulfillment uh, that make that is so bright, that is so big that you are able to share it and shed that light on other people. But one of its ultimate meanings is home. When I see this for you, this is about finding that place of home within yourself. This week, Libra, you need to understand that the only home that you are ever going to know is the one that you are inside at any given moment, right? That is your truest home. And this week, it really does feel like you are aligning with some aspect of yourself. That I'm hearing uh, two songs in my mind, Listen by Beyonce, very, very, very apt for this kind of energy. And also uh, the, the song Alive, 
uh, by Celine Dion. Those two songs are popping into my head. So if you've never heard them, have a listen. But this week, you are coming into your own. You are about to know yourself like never before. And you know what they say, to know thyself is to know the universe and vice versa. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know how, it's, uh, how it goes for you. Also, remember, bring it out of here right and into here bring it from out of there into here right you've got to go inward this week that's where you're going to find it take care i'll see you soon